And we're back. We took on the bug. Lappy said, can I ask you a bit of an awkward question? What kind of demon would you say Velvet is? Uh, well... Oh, don't worry. I'm not trying to find a vulnerability or anything. I'm only asking out of curiosity. It's not that I doubt you, Eleanor. I just don't know much about her myself. You fought against her, haven't you? She consumes her enemies with her left hand and claims their power. She's a demon like absolutely no other. Plunk just about any demon down in front of her, and I bet she could devour it in a single gulp. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty much true. Sometimes demons that she doesn't entirely devour turn human again, but... What? You've seen demons turn back into humans? Is it that big of a deal? Of course it is! Everyone knows that once you catch demon blight, that's it. There's no turning back. Although, I did see it happen with the High Priest Gideon. I wonder if there's some kind of connection. Not that it matters if he turned back, demon or not, he's dead either way. Whatever it is, it's of no concern to a pirate. If I were you, I wouldn't worry about what's normal. If things were normal, we wouldn't have found each other. You have a point. Sorry I couldn't help, Eleanor. No, you didn't do anything wrong. But I need to keep digging until I find out more about the kind of demon Velvet is. So he's a double agent. Oh, that was easy. Okay. That bug! It looks pretty tough. Yeah! I've been around a long time, but I've never seen anything like it! It must be a new species. Incredible! A new species is usually named after the person who discovered it. The Lafayette rhinoceros beetle, then? Rhinoceros beetle? Whoa, now, that's a stag beetle if I ever saw one. No. Those things may look like pincers, but they're actually horns. A three-horned beetle will cause quite a stir in the bug community. Hey, I know pincers when I see them, and those were some mighty pincers. The Lafayette stag beetle has a better ring to it, right? What part of that sounds better? The whole thing. Stag beetles are the strongest, after all. I can't let that go unchallenged. The rhinoceros is the king of beetledom. Beetledom? More like beetle dumb. Huh? That doesn't help your case at all. Rokuro. Aizen. I... I feel a dangerous storm brewing. The rhino is a one-trick pony with its horn, but a stag can cut its opponents in half. Its weapons can be used in any situation. The stag is a true swordsman. That's petty trickery. The only beetle with the raw muscle to decide its own fate is the rhino. But they only live for a year. The stag can survive through the winter. They live hard and die young. Is the beauty of such a life lost on you? Why is it that boys get so excited when they talk about bugs? Rhinoceros, stag, or butterfly. It's all no matter to me. They all look like cockroaches. They're totally different! So, what will you name it? Um, I think Rhino Stagros for now. Then you have moments like that that are just amusing. Man, I don't remember how to get out of here. Go away, skunk. Sure hope I'm not going backwards or anything. That would kind of suck, kind of suck, kind of suck, kind of suck. Stupid skunk. I think I'm going in the right direction though.
I wonder if that warp will take me back to the... Jerk. And we're lost in a forest. Maybe from here I can find my way out. I can't just leave that chest unguarded though. Flowers smell so sweet, like raspberries. Let me smell. <laughs> oh, they smell tasty. Do they really taste that bad? They lure you in with their scent, but once that flower hits your tongue, its flavor transforms into something dreadful. Dreadful, dreadful like, like how? how? The petals melt into a liquid thousands of times stronger than mint, and the leaves and stem taste richer than the richest beef tongue. The two flavors clash and fizz on your tongue, and your whole body is racked with choking pain. What? Seriously? That's what Ifri told me anyway. It's actually true. That's exactly what it's like. You've tasted it before, haven't you? Is there any way around it? You can squeeze it, boil it, mix it with honey, but nothing gets rid of the taste. Trying to mix it or sweeten it makes it even harder for some to swallow. Have you taken yours? No, I'll do it once I'm back on the ship with the pirates. Wait, are you the type that puts off unpleasant tasks? Not at all. I simply cannot be the first to drink it when others are still waiting for us to deliver their doses. You do know that you'll have to drink double the dose after you start displaying the symptoms, right? Are you certain? Quit being so stubborn. It'd be better if you just got it over with. And you've taken your dose? No, I don't need to. Having a tethered Moloch drink it is enough to absorb its effects. But to a Moloch, it tastes... Yes, the cuter you are, the worse it tastes. <laughs> it's good to be an exorcist, eh, Eleanor? Do I... 
have to drink it? Of, of course not. I'll suffer through my own dose of Salachoma. Well, Pooh, how dull. Whew. Nope, you go away. Maybe I could just run right between them. You think there's any chance that wanted Moloch would launch an attack here? His target's probably Loringen, but stay sharp just in case. He might try to break open the bug cage as a diversion. Wanted Moloch? Loringen? Hmm. First that demon wrecks Helavis, and then Eleanor betrays us? We're never gonna catch a break. Quit whining. Cleaning up messes is our job. Looks like our Abbey buddies are up to something. And the bug cage. That barrier, I assume? If so, it won't be long before they find out we broke in. Then we should make our exit while we can. Mm, yep, let's get out of here. Run across, run across, run across, run across, run across. I am so pissed off. Was that a warp though the whole time? Gosh darn it. That's my luck. I don't remember where to go. Ah! Sound like spines breaking. What's that? I missed all those teardrops. I think I'm a little too weak for this right now. Ah, there you go, my goodness. Nothing to see here? Oh, um, crap, I went the wrong way, huh? I wonder if we're going to go back to the home village, actually.
end it where we all began. That'd be interesting. Because there was that one area that was redded off that I couldn't go to. So I'm curious. How goes it? Zavid! Easy there, bro. I don't got time to spar today. Got a date lined up. That artifact you've got belongs to Eifried. Why do you have it? Just picked it up off the ground somewhere. Don't screw with me, tough guy. I have ways of making you talk. Ha! <laughs> I wonder how much pain gets you to open up. You're the one about to be tested. It's not up to you how this goes. If I want to talk, we'll talk. And if I want to fight, we'll fight. What are you... I'd play more, but I don't want to keep old Pointybeard waiting. We'll chat some more later, with our fists. Wait! You can handle it! But you're... <sighs> Let's head back, Luffy said. All right. Zavid was holding? What do you think that was? From the sound of it, it seemed to belong to Eifried. I've never seen any object or art quite like it. Maybe it's that relic Eifried brought back from a continent across the sea. An art from another continent? Do you think Aizen will be alright? That Moloch seemed to know what he was doing. I'd rather we just stayed out of his way, but... First the throne, and now here. What is Zavid after, anyway? He was probably just making up that date business. But still, old pointy beard. Just like Eifried. When I was talking with Benwick, he said Eifried had a pointy beard. You don't say. Then I bet Zavid is that wanted Moloch the Abbey's looking for. Yeah, he must be aware they're after him. And then he baited Aizen into following him using something that belonged to Eifried. And I'm pretty sure Aizen knew that, but he went after him all the same. Ugh, this can only go well, I'm sure. Is Aizen in trouble? It doesn't matter either way, if his Corsair Scourge goes untreated. For now, let's get back to the ship. Okay, we're going to end the episode there, and then next time we will cure them all. Cure. 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 Uh, yeah. Artifact out.